Time zones can be a bit tricky in Zoho CRM. I'm going to show you how to handle a situation where you are dealing with customers in multiple countries and you want to be able to send them appointment reminders. The tricky thing about this is that Zoho doesn't necessarily convert a time which is in your time zone correctly. For example, if we put this time here, 3.30 a.m. in Australia, because my CRM time zone is set to Melbourne, Australia. And then if I have a customer in the UK, it's not going to be 3.30 a.m. their time. It's going to be a different time. In fact, it will be 6.30 p.m. the night before. The way that we can achieve this is by using Dilute Script so that if I set a time, let's make it a more reasonable time, I think generally for calls with the UK around about 5 p.m. Melbourne time would work well. And that should then automatically update this field here so that we'd then be able to send out that information in an email or in an SMS. Let me show you how that is achieved. You can see we've got two fields here. We've got appointment start, which is a date time field, and we've got appointment and leads time zone, which is a text field. We've got a function here, which gets the data from the lead. Then we ret retrieve the appointment start, which is the date time field. We find the phone, and using the phone number, we decide which time zone it should be. If you had a country field or you had some other way of getting the time zone, you could use that too. But in this example, I'm assuming that we're mainly going to be dealing with European countries. So we'll have plus four nine, which is the German telephone number prefix, plus three three for the Netherlands, plus four four for the UK. After we've done that, We've got the time zone. We then, we figure out what the time zone for our CRM is. And you need to do this because even if you set the time zone in the organization settings, the deluge time zone is different as well. So you might, for a long time, for example, even though I had my time zone for my CRM set to Melbourne, it was actually set to California for the deluge time zone and the code didn't work properly. For that reason, what you'll do, you get the data from the appointment start field. I'll show you what that looks like. You can see here, this is in ISO 8601 format, where you've got year, month, date, T, the time in 24 hour format, and then this bit at the end is the time zone. What we're doing here with the two list plus is we're splitting the string so that we've got this part of the date time in one array element, and this part here in a second array element. That's the second array element there. We turn it into GMT plus, and then using this bit here, we are able to reformat the time from being in the time zone of the CRM to being in the contact time zone. And we're using this format here where we're gonna have the short English version of the date, for example, org, followed by the date of the month, followed by the time, so I'll share all of this code. That's basically how you can have a field in your CRM where you would have the appointment time in the local time of the lead rather than in your CRM's time zone.